It is 7.38. Normally, the leaks are about... Well, not leaks, sorry. The reveals are about 11, 12 o'clock or something like that. I just got out of work. Um, it's unfortunate. So, I know nothing, okay? So you, I thought we should experience this together. Twitter, Runeterra, what's up? Now, it could be a champion. I don't know if it's a champion or it's it's like something completely different. Um, we have this guy. Okay, it's Nico. Many shapes, friends. And she's Runeterran. Oh! Do we, do we have a thing? Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? Um, actually, no, 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 no. Okay, so Nico gets revealed today. Again, I'm so sorry about uh, being late. So let's go to YouTube now that I know, and uh, we'll get a description of what this guy does. I'm doing this live. My man already got his video out! My wife already... <laughs> I fucking hate going to work, dude. Twilight Protector, new chain. So it's... it's that's the, the, the fun... Of, that hasn't been funny, dude. Big strong Nico coming through! Okay, hold on. No, 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 no. I'm gonna need an HD! Hey, oh, wait, wait, wait. No, thanks. Wait. No, no, no. We, 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 we're fine with regular 1080p. <laughs> what the hell? Trying to get me my money? You're trying to steal me money! Okay, Many Shapes in, uh, Many Shape Jungle Friends. So she is, as we thought, she is the, um, the multi-type, uh, payoff, right? So you may put bird, cat, dog, elnuk, fey, reptile, and spider flowers into your deck. That is a lot! Of cards. <laughs> that is a lot of cards. So that's her origin. Play. Two cost two two. You may disguise me as one of three two cost followers from my origin. So it, uh, only two costs and the attack. You've attacked with allies with that have six different subtypes. She also has a subtype as shapeshifter. So this should be interesting. Nico. So she uh, played herself right there and then she can, okay. She's making her own tribe now. So I'm assuming disguised, right? So she, we they don't know that that's her. <laughs> okay, those are the subtypes. Dog versus ambush. Completely irrelevant to do that. Oh wait, it's phase. Okay, ambush. That summons another unit. Fight, fight, fight. Oh my god, why don't you wanna... Looks like you're saving that card. You In Italy. Nico. I'm hoping that she doesn't use her Nico... If it helps her, slithers, it's my kind of critter. her Nico thing, so there it is. The payout. See, like... Even though you can't origin those these cards, right? That's where I guess like that's where it's going to be like. So sea moss is obviously a, a, is a subtype, right? Um, and now it's cheaper as well. Dog is weapon master. So like, there's going to be a times where you're going to want to definitely uh, compare, uh, bring this into another thing. So weapon master, imagine uh, maybe weapon master something like it's very it's going to be very interesting to build her, right? But I'm curious to how many Thank units you, can be used in her deck. Surprise, it was Nico all along. Nico goes up, colors come down. That was kind of trash, I ain't, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, I don't know what is this. Uh, I've started to notice this. It's, uh, these level up animations are them like running to something. Or, I don't know, like Samara was just like running. This one's just like running. Who's the, the, the first champion? I'm like drawing a blank, which is crazy. There was uh, Nidalee, Nidalee just running. Like, like a lot of these characters just kind of running around. And there's just a slow progression through um, like all the level up animations. It's kind of running. Like I like Set and Jack. Like they're kind of like, there's a story that's being told with it, with that character's release. And it's in the thing. But maybe people don't like that. Like how Renekton and Gnosis fight all the time. Anywho, <laughs> Nico, 2 2, uh, two, two three, 3 elusive now. Attack, grant allies that have a subtype everywhere, plus one, plus one. That is a pretty strong uh, thing. So all your dogs get bigger, all your cats get bigger, all your birds get bigger. So that is strong. And if obviously, if you can multiply her, duplicate her in any shape or way or fashion, and she's also going to get boosted herself, you can really ramp that up pretty quickly. Is it game busted, giga busted? I, I don't really think so. It's a pretty cool passive, though. 
Or attack uh, skill. It's not a skill either. Shut up. So she leveled up. So, like, I think what just happened is that they leveled her up on the left side. She leveled, and then it triggered her thing on the right. You gotta be careful with that. That was that was good ordering. If Nico was on the left side, they would not have gotten the boost. Nico missed Nidalee so much. You must be so strong surviving all on your own. I am not alone, child. What the fuck? Wait. I am not alone. Who's <laughs> strong surviving all on your own? I am not alone, child. What the hell is that? Beast and get back in your cage. Nico does not like smelly cage. That yeah, that's or it. Smelly Boom. man. Give me that. Create a exact ephemeral copy and swap. Nico is here. Or is she? See, like something like that. She could have used that on the attack and it would have doubled. Yep, see? Free summons. Real claws, Gladly. Exactly. Oh. Eva. Now, if that card's cheap, that's going to be busted again for, like, Bandle City. So I, I got to see what region that's from. What region is that card from? And then, boom, the attack. Everything gets boosted. Elusive wins, ladies and gentlemen. I don't even know if that's like the deck. Like, you know, Nico, uh, Nico Nidalee. I don't even know, that That, that to me doesn't even make sense. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Uh, so we saw the Nico shapes, uh, shapes split. It's probably already uploaded, I'm so many hours late. Create an exact, it's a three cost fast speed. Create an exact copy, uh, ephemeral copy of an ally and swap them. Dude, but you could just, oh, but that's exclusive. That's like Jid. Um, Actually, you know, I think I think that's actually the theme of the Runeterran cards, right? That all the Runeterran cards have a very specific. So you need another Nico, so you can't put that in any other deck. That would have made it busted, but still pretty strong, especially let's say I'm just gonna be a nonsense here. Let's just for some god awful reason you're playing Jin, right? It's a three cost make two Jins or three cost anything. You, it doesn't even have to be used on Nico. So that alone makes me want to have her and duplicate her in some way, shape, or form. And you can have this really crazy board. You can also use it to obviously dot spells. You can also use it to make a really strong attack because some of these cards have insane uh, like uh, effects on summon or like yeah, obviously the bone hide right here. Boom, that would be great. This would also be great. Is it an exact copy? It is an exact copy. Even better. That is dumb strong actually. That is a amazing. That's probably the one that like Jin needs to rework his uh, champion spell because of how good that is. God damn. Um, every all the other cards we already know about. So they really only just drop Nico unless there's more cards when I go look somewhere else. So yeah, they literally just dropped Nico. That was <laughs> that's. So I think the important thing here is to see like like the harder thing you'd have to do is like what region are you pairing this with? So literally we know is Sharima, right? So like is Sharima. Nico the best option and I'm not exactly sure because a lot of these uh, things that we saw here I mean like you got cat you got some other ones here like and she needs to see you've attacked with allies that have six different types uh, And oh, you know what? Okay, I stay corrected. She actually doesn't need to see it. So Once you do it, it's all good. And if you have a deck with majority subtypes Then you're actually gonna level her probably back accent, but they do need to attack and that is probably a little bit that will also show, find some struggle in that too because of the fact that they need to attack and there's sometimes where you don't want to attack especially if they're not elusive and things of that nature so i'm actually uh, i think that there's it would be interesting to deck build with her but i would rather deck like even try to deck build at all once i see more cards because even trying to do it right now like to see because i'm assuming you're gonna go to another region that has a very strong subtype. So let me just like I'll just blind say it like uh, uh, Freljord maybe like like I said Elnuk right? Like let's say you try to pair it with Elnuk and you're trying to do that because uh, no there's six different subtypes. So no you do have to run a multitude of that. But she herself is going to do that anyway. But where do you where's the other thing like spiders? Spiders actually is allowed in here and we already know spiders is a really relatively good deck But is it strong enough to like kind of sit in there? I like that's if you guys don't understand like that's what I'm thinking about like bird We now know what bird bird has some things in Ionia. Do you pair this with Ionia? Do you do dog which I think dog 
is mostly I think Targon, like the I know that you have the duplicate dog, which would be insane with the shapeshifter, by the way. Uh, that would probably be my first thing is just because you could do that. You have Targon and you have ways to protect her, and then you have ways to make duplicates. Targon also has Mahita, maybe make these stronger. I don't know. I'm thinking off the crack of my ass at the moment, but it's still pretty unique. It's interesting. She doesn't even have uh, like quick attack either, so her attacking is nuts so what also let's go look at what they say disguise because i'm pretty sure people complain and by luckily by now uh disguise is already a uh, thing so what does disguise mean secretly transformed into another unit before entering play they won't reveal their true identity to your opponent until they leave play or level up that's very specific just to her now it's, it's very similar to ambush as well so my thing is that they won't reveal their true identity so let's just say because we saw at the beginning here right Coming through. She decided to reveal as Nico. like this. So, unless this thing triggers, then uh, let me see. Does it trigger its effect? Because that makes it super Always strong. Twilight would daybreak, and the card is a daybreak nightfall call, so it should give daybreak allies plus one plus one. So she shows a three three. Now. It does work. Yeah. Okay. It does work. That makes her a lot better. Disguise me as one of three two cost units from my region. Doesn't say it doesn't even say in deck. So it's a, a let's just I can at least break her down, right? So two a two cost bird, cat, dog, elnuk, fay, reptile, or spider is what she can turn into, right? So Okay, so these are all cards that we know. So there are a couple that are decent, like like Bitsy Lizard kind of seems weird to me. Like, would you actually transform into the to, to the lava lizard? Would you actually transform into that if that was the if that was the case? Uh, Carved Blade Twirler would actually be pretty good because you would actually gain free attacks and then you undisguise yourself. Because I have to assume that it works with everything that's here because of the way that the Twilight Protector, which is actually a really good card to showcase. Like, Solari Sunhawk gives her a stun, a daybreak stun. <laughs> like, that's kind of nuts, right? Uh, this is a pretty interesting one too, right? Two, one, you act as if you're a dog that's immobile and then maybe you do something to, or she levels up and then all of a sudden they actually have a blocker or something like that. That'd be interesting. Uh, this card's also pretty good. You keep, uh, you can have it on the field as an aura, but it actually has to play the aura. Like, it's actually interesting. Like, this one, Frozen Thrall, Junk Construct, uh, that, that's, you don't want her to die. Uh, yeah, the pup, there we go. This is a quick attack unit. A uh, nice quick attack unit so she can actually get her quick attacks in. That's pretty good. I also don't know if it counts as two because she's a shapeshifter and then she would turn into a dog, right? So would that actually work too? Is that two subtypes attacking or is it just one? And then obviously because you have stuff like the Ascended, Azir, Renekton, and Gnosis, does that theoretically level her quicker? Because it's an Ascended bird, an Ascended reptile, Ascended dog. Do you get two for that? Then it may be, maybe a, a Sharima, which is already, you know, they're trying to ship it with Nidalee, but what if you play Azir and that hyper levels it, right? Because you have an Ascended and a bird. Similar to like Kaiza, right? Like I'm thinking like Kaiza deck, like when you're like, well, I'm gonna play something till that Kaiza is leveled, right? And her being a two drop is also pretty good too. Two, two, two. Like, I, I like the card. And I wonder if they'll change this after like a day or two. So she levels. Like, I feel like when she comes down, I feel like there's not enough, um, not enough impact, if that makes any sense. I think it should definitely be way more, um, impact on that. But, uh, I, I think, uh, I thought she would also be more about transform, right? So right now we don't really have the transform character. Uh, the ambush is transform S, and so is Nidalee. But like I, I was hoping that there was going to be a character that actually worked with transform. She gets revealed. So the last uh, champion, which I kind of know what it is already, 
Uh, and they did a fairly decent job keeping it a secret, and hopefully you guys don't look into what it is. And the only reason why I know is because of websites like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's not actually Runeterra AR. I think that they've been a good little boy. Uh, but I, it's another website that I used to use, and it's it was so annoying that I opened the front page, like the home page, and boom, it was right there. Uh, and that's how I got leaked. So just be careful if you guys go into these sites if you're trying to stay, uh, stay strong. We got about only two more days, and then the expansion, uh, well, then it's the 27th, right? So the pretty much we'll probably see people playing the expansion. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's an early release. And then on the 28th, uh, it actually drops and then we can all enjoy it together. So what do you guys think about Nico? Do you think she's strong? I think, I, I personally feel like it, she's slightly underwhelming, but if you can make multiple copies of her, start buffing your deck, it's kind of like, it's like a the, the Rune Terran cost, the deck cost of that, to just like making everything a, like a Legion Marauder. <laughs> <laughs> like I kind of feel like it's, it, that's the vibe it gives me. It's like, oh, you got a, a Legion Marauder. Like, go, go be merry, kind of thing. But that's just how I feel about it. I think she's okay. Nidalee to me seems actually okay too. I actually think both champions so far aren't that crazy. Hopefully, the third one is gonna bring home is Jibakin. Anywho, that's gonna be it for me. I'll see you guys. Peace.